Hello guys, Jim here from the Outdoor Sportsman's YouTube channel and host of Carolina Outdoor Magazine TV. You know, catfishing has been around for centuries and throughout the passage of time, fishermen have come up with all different kinds of ways to catch catfish. You know, you can go out on an afternoon and you know, jump on your boat and set up uh, some set hooks. Uh, you can set up trot lines, you can use jugs, or just conventional rod and reel. But one popular method back in the 20s and 30s uh, was, you know, when fishing was a necessity and not like it is now, just something you do to pass time and, and out of enjoyment. Fishing back in them days was more of a necessity. So guys come up with all kinds of ways to catch catfish because they were just plentiful and readily available in a lot of different creeks and lakes and reservoirs, all kinds of bodies of water across the country. One way is uh, they used to use jugs and that was a method by just tying a line onto something that would hold air and wouldn't leak and putting a piece of bait on the end and throwing it out in the water. Uh, these days the guys use plastic bottles, you know, 16 ounce bottles, gallon jugs, all kinds of stuff. Uh, and another method you could use for catfishing is you could go out and you could use uh, what they call the set hook method. And what that was was basically going out and setting some lines and bait on a branch or a limb that overhangs in the water and catching catfish that way. You also have trot lines, which is a big long line you stretch between two points with a bunch of drop lines on it and you bait them all up and come back after a few hours and just pick them up and pick up your fish. And then we also have what they call the noodle. Now this is a kind of a newer invention and this little rig, this device right here is really neat. It kind of works almost like an ice fishing tip up that you would use, a lot of you guys would use up north. And it's, it's something you can build, fairly expensive, and, and it just kind of takes catfishing, uh, jug fishing for, for catfish up to a new level where it's a little bit neater. And um, what we have inside is you have a weight, and basically what happens is the catfish comes along, and when he does, he will, uh, this line right here, you put your hook out, and you put out uh, some bait on there, you can use whatever your bait of prefer preference might be, chicken livers, cut bait, whatever you might decide to use, use that for bait. And this has a weight, and what happens is that when the catfish bites on this and pulls it down, this thing will come up like this, causing the weight to slide down here inside, and making this thing stick up or letting you know that you have a fish on. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to show you how inexpensive and easy it is to make these rigs so you can go out and catch you a bunch of catfish. So let's get started. Okay, first what you're going to need is some basic simple items and a lot of these items you can pick up at your hardware store. You're going to need to go to your package store or someplace like that and pick you up one of these noodles. Now this happens to be one that's around four inches round and it has a hole in the middle. And you gotta have the ones with the hole in the middle because you gotta slide your tube up in there. And then you need some inch and a half PVC pipe. You're gonna need two inch and a half caps for each noodle that you're gonna build. You're gonna need some hooks, okay, which are very important to tie your fishing line to. And you're gonna need some kind of weight Preferably, prefer, preferably, I like to use a two ounce barrel sinker, but you can use other things. A lot of guys will cut off a piece of rebar. This happens to be a, um, a, a, a lug that you have on your wheel, and these were some that were replaced, and I had a bunch of them, so I'm gonna use them. Uh, you need to have you some kind of glue. We use uh, Gorilla Glue. Your glue preference is really up to you. You can use epoxy. And you're going to need to have PVC cement to glue your ends together. Now the first thing you have to do is you're going to prepare some of this stuff. You're going to need to drill a hole in one end of your cap so that you can put your hook in there. Another thing you need to do is take your PVC and you want to prepare it and cut this 18 inches long, okay? Make sure you sand or primer the end so your caps will stick good. Then you're going to need to take your noodle and you need to cut these 10 inches. 
Now these noodles will come in about a 55 inch piece and one of them will get you five pieces, okay? So that really helps a, a bunch because you can get, you know, two noodles, you can get quite a few of these. Basically, you can put all, you can put 15 of these together for less than $20. And then you're going to need some uh, silicone. I'm going to show you what that's for. A lot of guys won't use the silicone, but I do. Okay, them are some of the basic items that you need to go ahead and, and start your product project of uh, making your catfishing noodle. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead in the shop. The first step you got to do is prepare everything. We're going to prepare the end cap first because if you use Gorilla Glue, it takes a little bit longer to dry, so you need to get them all prepared, let them dry, and let them set up so you can put your silicone in there. And if you use an epoxy, you can get like a 5 or 15 minute epoxy and that'll, that'll be a little quicker. Um, the, so we're going to go ahead and prepare everything. And once you prepare it, putting it together is really quick and simple. Okay, the first step is to go ahead and drill your hole in your inch and a half diameter end cap. So you can put your hook in there to tie your fishing line. And you want to drill a hole in here because this material is really is really hard and it makes it easier to screw it in. Now I'm going to use a drill press. You don't have to use a drill press. You can use just a, a hand drill or anything like that. This happens to be what I have in my shop here. So I'm going to use the drill press to go ahead and, and put and drill the hole. So let's get started with the first step. Now the first step is pretty simple. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to make catfishing noodles. So the first step that we're going to do is we're going to drill a hole here in our, in our end cap to get all the end caps done at one time. So we'll go ahead and put that as center as close to the center as you can, very carefully, drill your hole, okay? And once you're done, what I would do is, if, depending on how many of these you make, I would go ahead and drill my end caps all at one time. And then you've got that hole right there, which you're going to be screwing in your eyelet into there so you can put your... Uh, fishing line on there. And the other next thing we're going to do is we're going to put some glue in here and that's going to help um, seal the threads on the, um, on, the, on the screw eye itself, on the, uh, the loop. Okay, step number two is really simple. All we're going to do is we're going to put our hook in our vise like so and we're going to screw our end cap on. And I like to screw mine all the way down so that the actual loop butts up against the cap. Uh, that's just what I like to do, no, to do, no special reason. So we'll go ahead and we'll get this started and get it screwed on there. Sometimes, depending on your hole size, I like size, I like to have, I like to have this thing go on pretty tight, but you don't want it tight enough to snap that, uh, that hook off. You want to make sure it holds. And um, screw it all the way down to the end. And once you get down there and it seats, this is what you'll have, okay? That's what it's going to, uh, whoop, there we go. That's what it's going to look like, that right there. And you can see it comes through your cap. Next step, what we're going to do is we're going to take our cap and we're going to put some kind of glue adhesive inside of the cap. And what's that, what that's going to do is it's going to seal them threads so water, in the eventuality, you know, over time you're using these things, they may become loose. That's going to seal them threads and keep water from getting into your tube. You don't want water coming, you know, getting into your tube. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to use our glue and we're going to seal the uh, inside of uh, the threads on our hook. That's our next step. All right, now we're going to move along to our next step, which we're going to do is we're going to seal the threads and we're going to, we're going to lock in our eyelet into uh, the bottom of our cap. So all we need to do is take your, your glue that you're using and just put some glue in there like so. And make sure you get enough to cover them threads and to seal the bottom. All right, that's what I've got right there. That's all I'm going to put in there. That's more than enough when you're using a real good adhesive, a real good glue to hold that eyelet in. Now, we're going to get all these done at one time. I have one prepared that I did the other day, uh, other day so it would be all set up so we could use it. But after you do all these, you want to let them sit up for a few hours and let them harden so you can go ahead and put the silicone on. All right, let's move on to the next step. We're going to go in the other room now, and I'm going to go ahead and we're going to put silicone in these caps, and we're going to assemble our noodle and get ready to go fishing. 
All right, the next step that we're going to do now is we're going to put some silicone, any all-purpose silicone, anything that's waterproof works good. We're going to take some silicone, we're going to put it in the end of our cap. I'm going to show you what that does. And there again, once you do that, you'll have to let it sit for a little bit so it'll, it'll harden and, and um, your bolt won't stick to the bottom. So we'll go ahead and we'll put a little silicone in there. And that's what you have when you're done, it, and it just covers up that glue that's hardened, okay? All right, we'll put that there, and we'll let that sit up for a little bit. All right, now that we've gone ahead and got our silicone in our cap, and we've let it sit for a little bit, and it's set up really good, what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and we're going to start assembling our noodle, okay? Now, uh, first thing you need to do is make sure you either prime or you sand the ends of these uh, of this tube. It just makes the glue adhere better. Now we're not plumbing a house, so you really, I don't know if it's really necessary, but it's just a good practice, okay? So let's go ahead and we'll put our glue on the end of our pipe and we'll seal this up and get our little piece in there and we'll just about be ready to go fishing. All right, so let's go ahead with our next step here, which would be to glue our ends on. And you want to just use a good amount of glue on both ends. Now when you put this cap on, I like to put this cap on and give it a twist. And that helps get the glue on there better and helps seal it better. So push that cap on there and give it a good twist when you do. And you'll feel that glue start to hard, harden up and adhere to that PVC pipe. And when that stuff hardens, you're not going to remove it. And I always just give it a twist and that just helps make the glue adhere. Okay, now that you've got the basic con the construction done, you've got your end on that you're going to tie your fishing line on. You want to make sure that after you put your weight in there, the next step you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and you're going to slide your noodle on here before you put your end cap on there and making sure before you seal this up, you have your weight. Okay, so once you do that, go ahead and put the end cap on. All right, once you have your end cap on, you're about ready to go. Next thing I like to do is take some kind of glue. You can't use the glue that you glued your cap on. It will uh, deteriorate your foam. So what I like to do, guys, is I'll just take, and you want to make sure, okay, that your noodle is going to be up. You don't want it to be on the end with the hook. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some glue, and I'm going to smear it all over this tube right here, not, not, not a lot, but just a little bit, some glue, or I'm going to use silicone. I like to use the silicone. And then as you're sliding that up, just rotate it. You're going to use the other end, but you just want to rotate that as you're sliding it up, and that will help smooth the glue out, okay? So let's go ahead and get this next step done, and we'll basically have our noodles together. All right, now that I got our silicone on there, and you can see I don't have a whole lot on there, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slide that up and rotate it as I'm sliding it up. And that's going to spread out that silicone, and it's going to make it adhere to this foam. Now, it's important to remember that you're going to be out there fishing at night, and when you're shining out a flashlight around trying to see if you've got a fish, one thing you want to do that just helps uh, make the visibility of this thing stand out on the water more is if you take some orange, pink, or red uh, reflective tape that they put on signs and different things so that when you shine your flashlight out there at night, if this thing is standing up bobbing around and you have a fish, you're going to see that red reflective tape on the top. So color is really your preference. All right. All we need to do now is, and I've already done this, is the next step is to tie on our line. And I like to use a Daycron line or braided line because it's not, it's very possible you can get a gar on there or something like that and it just holds them on there better, a big catfish. Good monofilament, 40, 50 pound test monofilament works good. You know, it, it, it's very possible and it happens very frequently that you will catch big catfish using this method. So now, depending on the water depth you're in, line length can be anywhere from 4 feet to 25 feet. It really depends on you. I like to have various different lengths on my noodles. And the reason being is because catfish do not stay on the bottom all the time. 
It's not unusual to find catfish, especially in the spring when they're foraging around looking for food, to be suspended and to feed in the upper column of the water. So you want to make sure you have some noodles out there that only have four or five, you know, 10 feet of line on there. Also put you on some line on here that's 25 foot long so you can target them fish that are down deeper. On the end what I like to have is I like to have a number six circle hook. That's the circle hook I use right there, okay? That's a number six. And the reason that I like to use that circle hook is because when I'm fishing with a conventional rod and reel, uh, circle hooks are designed so you don't have to set the hook. You just pick up the rod and start reeling and it will always, just about 99% of the time, catch the fish in the lip of the mouth or in the, in the corner of the mouth. So what happens is that you're out there fishing, okay, and the catfish comes along and he pulls this thing down and he trips it and when he's pulling on this trying to get away he automatically just sets the hook himself it just helps i think i believe that in this case this scenario it does help you catch more fish but you heard there now listen this is what happens if you don't put the silicone in the end you hear that big click right there that's that weight hitting against the top cap we're not, not going to be concerned with the top. You can go ahead and put some silicone in that too if you would like. But, you know, I just load the thing up and make sure the weight, when you, when you launch this thing and you put it in the water, the weight wants to be on this end. Now, on this end, we put the silicone. Now listen to this. You hardly ever hear it when it drops down. So, that just protects the cap. The silicone in there will protect the cap. Will it knock this off? I don't think so because when that glue hardens, it this piece, this cap actually becomes a piece of the pipe. It, would it split the end of this? It very well could, you know, over time split and break the end of that cap. And it could also damage the end of the eye and make it become loose. So that's why we use the glue and then the silicone for a cushion, all right? And what you do is you put on your favorite bait. It can be chicken livers, beef livers, Cut bait can be anything you want um, within the law and put that on there and what we do is we'll just set the noodle out like this and then we'll throw our line out away from the boat and while your buddy's driving the boat along you're baiting and loading these things up and you're getting them out there. Okay now the only other thing I would like to mention is that um, in the southern states we can use this method of fishing. Uh, we can use uh, uh, jugs, we can use set hooks and trot lines and things like that. Some places across the country they won't allow you to fish like this, okay? Some places across the country you can only have two rods in a boat. But however, most states the law requires that you have your name, address, and phone number on your tube or your jug. So make sure you adhere to that because if Mr. Game Warden comes along and he stops you and you've got some, some jugs or tubes in there that you don't have your name and address on, he can give you a ticket and you sure don't want that or ruin your day. So just make sure you know you check your laws and make sure you have your name and address and your phone number on your tubes. So anyways guys, that's how you make a noodle. Now there's a lot of guys out there making noodles and putting up videos and they're all the same. They're basically the same design with some alterations. We just made a few alterations on ours. We did take and we did put so it wouldn't make any noise here when the when the uh, the weight goes down. We, we, we did add this and some guys don't add the tape. We added the tape on the top and that just makes it a little bit better. So this is just how we make our noodles. Um, you can take your line when you're reeling them in, you're bringing them in for the day, reel them in like so, stick it in the foam, and then get one of these boxes that, uh, that is about that wide and it has the fold on top that fold and collapse onto the box. You can put about 15 of them in there. Keeps it nice and neat. You can put them up and you don't have a bunch of them just laying around in the boat. So um, if you like this video, please hit the like button and also uh, please subscribe to our channel and that way you will be sure to keep up with upcoming TV shows and videos and how to uh, do it yourself videos that we do. So we hope you enjoyed this little demo here on how to make some noodles. 
and we appreciate you guys tuning in and watching our video. And I don't know about you, but if you don't have your noodles made up, I've got mine, and I'm heading to Lake to go catfishing. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll catch you in the next video.